This video will walk through several new features added to the Eclectic IQ Intelligence Center version 3.4, leveraging newer developments in AI. For these three features, we'll walk through how to use them and the value that they provide to users of the Eclectic IQ Intelligence Center. Now, the first feature is the natural language search interface, which aims to simplify usage of the search capability of the platform by providing an alternative way to use it. Now, typically when we're using the Eclectic IQ platform and we want to search through data, we need to be aware of the data model. This also requires us to understand to some degree the least seen syntax required, where we have to specify fields and things like keywords and use Boolean logic. For example, if I wanted to focus on report data, I would need to specify data.type report, where I need to know the field type and some of the entities available. Now the platform already helps me to some degree. If I type in fields, it will suggest examples that I might want to use, for example, different entity types from the data model. And I can also type in these high level fields and it will suggest various fields belonging to the data model or even search for fields of interest like time. There are a lot of options in these situations, and so this can often be quite confusing. And as we create more complicated queries, like looking for reports, you can see it suggesting Boolean logic here, where I might want to include keywords. Here, for example, we'll focus on ransomware as a keyword for reports and observe our results. Now learning Lucene and the data model of the platform takes time, and this new interface aims to make this easier. Now we have this new option where we can ask AI to search for us. And here we can create queries in natural language. You can see in my history, this also supports alternative languages as well. And the tool will convert these to English for creating the Lucene query. As a first example, we can now look for reports with the keyword ransomware. Rather than needing to know Lucene or the data model, the platform will convert my natural language question into Lucene so it helps me both with learning the query and also just interfacing with the platform in a more natural way. We can see that my natural language question has been turned into Lucene with the same example we saw before. Similarly, using alternative languages, for example, here we have Japanese and Chinese. We can use the platform to ask our questions in a more comfortable language if English is not our first language. This example here is in fact Estonian, Aruanded Mark Sinaga, Hunters International. We're looking for entities with the tag Hunters International. We can again see that it has understood my query and provided the result. This new feature simplifies learning the platform as well as interfacing with it quickly and reduces the barrier for less technical users who want to log in and find some relevant intelligence, but are not familiar with Lucene or the platform's data model. Next, we'll take a look at generating intelligence automatically using AI, as opposed to manually writing reports. A very common use case for our analysts is to take a threat that we've been investigating and then produce a report either summarizing our findings or providing a strategic or operational explanation of a particular threat. Typical workflows would have us create a new report. For example, here I'll create a new threat report. This creates a new empty entity within the platform, which I can link directly to intelligence and I can find within my search, just like any other Intel, which is very useful for organizing our own Intel alongside raw data that we've collected. The downside here is that to edit this report, I then have to fill in the information myself. So while the platform provides me with a report editing utility, it's very much a manual process. To help speed this up, there's a new feature available where we can select entities of interest, for example, these vulnerabilities, and now we can generate reports automatically to give ourselves a head start on producing report content. Selecting this option will ask me to select a title, either something I specify or have it generated automatically based on the query. We can then select from either one of two templates, technical or strategic, which will aim to produce a report focused for that particular audience. If I select these two vulnerabilities, the platform will take those and attempt to create a report which provides insight for a more technical audience. Strategic is simply an alternative audience with a similar output. We can optionally choose custom, which exposes both the prompt and the structure available to us, which we can then use to customize our output. Very useful if we want to create something very unique with specific headers or subject matter, and we can always edit the content once it's created as well. For this example, I'll choose both technical. I'll then choose to generate another report again and then choose strategic. So I've asked the platform to quickly generate two reports for me for both technical and strategic audiences discussing this vulnerability. We can see that the platform has now created for me a new report. 
If we load related entities, we'll find that new report entities have been created linked directly to these vulnerabilities. If we open up one of these reports, we can see that a report entity has now been created for us complete with content, and it's attempted to fill in some of the default sections for us. As with all AI technologies, we should always fact check what's been produced and maybe make some adjustments, and the platform provides that same report editing utility for us to easily make changes to the data and save it before sharing this intelligence. This has saved me a lot of time in producing the initial boilerplate for these reports. For both a technical and strategic audience, I can now come and edit these entities, make them suitable for sharing within my organization, and add any information that hasn't been included. These entities are now searchable within the platform and easily exportable using the built-in tools. The last feature I want to take a look at is some of the new tools available to analysts when editing text interactively. Here we'll visit one of our entities. In this case, we have a report here that I've written as a technical analysis of another CVE. If we take a look, we can see that we've produced several paragraphs discussing a CVE with a technical audience in mind, as well as referential information. What we want to do now, as a very common exercise for CTI analysts, is to produce a strategic version of this report. But I don't want to have to completely rewrite this report every time, and I have to do this regularly for a lot of different topics. What I will do instead, I will take advantage of the copy feature of the platform, which allows me to create a copy of an entity and bring in all of the existing content. Within this text editor, I can now select all of the information, and we can see some new tools have popped up for my selection. This allows me to either summarize the writing or change the tone or style. And in this case, I'd like to change the style from technical to strategic. I can select this option and the assistant will take this text and produce a more strategic version for me. Similar to the last feature, this allows me to speed up creating similar content from existing intelligence. Here we can see the result. It's provided for us a strategic alternative to our text and I can choose to insert this or I can ask for some changes. This has now simplified the language that I've created. I'll remove these frames and we now have a strategic version of our report prepared. And I can simply come and change the title to strategic analysis and save this to my platform. Once again, this has saved me a lot of time. I haven't had to compare one report and completely write a strategic report from scratch. I've used the built-in tools to help save me this time. I can review the text that it's created for me, make any changes that I need to, and then publish this entity to my platform for use. Now I have a strategic version of my report, which I can easily share with my organization. And we can see this is also connected to all of the related intelligence within the platform. Thank you for your time. And if you'd like to know more, please contact Eclectic IQ and we'd be happy to take you through a more personal demonstration of our software.